Okay, the ghost. For some strange reason, North America seems to have created just an absolute huge genre of relatively mundane, you know, teenage slasher flicks. And then you go over to Asia, they seem to do just an absolute ton of movies that are based upon some sort of you know, spiritual presence. It normally has a, a tie to some sort of traumatic event that happened earlier on. And the ghost does follow a lot of those same beats. You know, you, you still have the uh, the normally fairly pale looking ghost characters. The weird thing of since this person was drowned, people easily throw up water and the occasional kind of throwing up of large masses of, of jet black hair. So this one, you, know, you have girls who are kind of the age of college. One of them is kind of pseudo possessed, taking on another one's characteristics. She also has amnesia. So you have potential spiritual possession, you have amnesia, and then it's her as to trying to figure out who this person is and why this is going on. It's not bad, you know, the introduction of the, the amnesia aspect and of the possession aspect kind of helps the story plot along where you're actually going through the motions with the characters as opposed to having a fully omniscient viewpoint. You know, not bad. If you're a fan of the, the Asian supernatural horror themed movies, this one's pretty good. There's really nothing in it that I would say is incredibly groundbreaking and really bust the mold from the other movies of that style, kind of like, you know, The Ring and The Grudge. That would be the American titles. So, you know, if you're a fan of this sort of genre, not bad. If you're looking for something that's going to be a little more groundbreaking, a little bit different from some of the other more kind of, I'd say, stock with stock, Asian supernatural ghost sort of thriller movies. This one you can probably pretty easily skip.